Hey Paris, how you doing? Okay, thank you so much for your submission. I'm just looking at your writing a few questions here I'd like to address. So, so far, this is the longest and hardest project I, I did so far. Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, we're, I mean, we're moving towards more complexity um, as we move through the class. And, and and I think that's a logical way to go. And I think that this, this portrait, this flat uh, illustrative portrait, um, not only will it make for a wonderful portfolio piece when that time comes for your student portfolio, but it also, it's, it's a really a fantastic technique. Um, there's a lot of learning going on here in the way that you you assemble and establish um, your illustrations without using gradient. And I think it's a really fantastic way to learn uh, a lot of illustrative techniques without depending on gradient. And I think that's a fantastic exercise because if you take a look at a lot of contemporary digital illustration, um, not so much today in 2019, but definitely in recent years, there's been a really overwhelming dependency on gradient. And I, I think the one thing that gradient does is it, it points our illustrations to the direction of digital. So yes, this is a digital illustration. It's got heavy digital techniques. And we're trying to avoid that a little bit, get back a little bit to a, a traditional um, illustrative technique um, that, that doesn't use gradient or any other really super heavy digital effects. Um, so we're really learning uh, the basics of illustration and illustrative technique by using basic, illustra uh, basic uh, presentation the flat avatar, right? The flat, the flat illustrative technique. And we studied that in a couple of the questions throughout the duration of the class. So that's nothing new, right? Okay, so Spike Lee turns out to be the best one so far. And one thing I had in mind, the eyes for each one, not sure what to bring forward or backward for Leonardo's hair color is way off. I would not, it says you're sampling color from the image. I wouldn't rely on that. I wouldn't. And the reason I say that is because this is a series, right? Where'd you go? Here it is. This is a series. So um, you want the these to be as as close, a, a very consistent in terms of their presentation. So it being that the photograph is taken at a different time under different light by a different photographer using different equipment, the depiction of skin tones are going to be drastically different in each one of the, the images themselves. So you may have to take some some liberty. So so some liberty. So based on this, for example, uh, his skin tone is, is, is pushing pink, whereas over here, she's more yellow. So you want to kind of find a happy medium, being that this will be presented as a series, right? Um, Okay, right now what I'm seeing is a good start, but we have some some issues, I think, um, in terms of detail, and that's where we're, we really need to point is is detail. We really, my recommendation would be to, to establish hard line first. So dr, dr, establish your hard line first, then start adding detail. So in other words, if you take a look at the Maryland, this is a really great example of establishing hard line. So you're taking a look at the actual photograph itself, establishing the hard line for the shape of the face, then establishing hard line for the shape of the hair. All right. So that's the basic foundation for the illustration. Then we come in and start adding details to the eyes. Note the variable with stroke, um, adding more detail to the eyes, specular highlights, and then moving towards a degree of complexity until we finally get to the final illustration. Now, this, oh, by the way, I'm in week seven, project three, Iconic American Entertainers postage stamp continue page. And then down here, this is where the rubber really hits the road when we start adding these shadow and highlight areas as well as texturizing the hair a little bit. Um, but the shadow and highlight areas really are gonna drill this thing home. And to help you guys, I, I added some things to um, one of the announcements. It's, if you go up to the week three announcement, take a look. Um, there's some really great uh, tutorials here sh on shading and highlight techniques. So here you've got uh, two videos here up top, and you have six more video tutorials here and two more tutorials down here. So there's a, a bunch of things. I highly recommend watching all of these, probably in one sitting, so you really get a good flavor of where you need to go in terms of adding um, detail. Um, texture, adding detail to the hair, depth, dimension, and volume by the addition of shadow and highlight areas, and really depicting things to a high degree. I'm really, really glad that it, that you decided not to use this huge stamp on his head, this patch. I think it's a great idea. It's going to add, it's going to create too much 
attention to that area and draw attention away from the, the facial characteristics established in the portrait itself. Watch your pen tool. I'm seeing a lot of um, I'm seeing a lot of corner points where we should have smooth points. That's a corner point right there. Looks like that's a corner point. Um, that seems to be a corner point. So watch your corner points. The pen tool indicates smooth lines. You want to do that. In, and I see the same thing. These are perfectly round glasses. I don't know if they're perfect, but they definitely don't have any kind of stops where they uh, where there's a corner or a change of direction, a, a, a sharp change in direction. These are all curved, and they should be depicted as such in their uh, the illustrations. Um, one thing I think that you've kind of painted yourself into a corner in, the, the, in this, in that right now you're depicting the illustrations based on the image, which all of these images are cropped. Okay, so the top of her head is flat. Okay, over here, that's cropped, so you've, you've got the crop. You're going to have to, I would say, take some, some artistic liberty here and try to fill out the top of that yourself, the top of that head, so we don't have just obviously a cropped off top of the head um, where, the, um, where the actual image crop is. Okay, so just keep working, and again, watch those those tutorials, and watch that shadow and highlight area there, which is really, shadow and highlight is basically taking the skin hue and using different values, darker or lighter, to depict shadow and highlight areas. Okay, so, so keep that in mind. All right, so really fantastic start so far. I hope I've answered all of your questions. Um... But, but I'm not sure how to get his hair color the same. I mean, it's just it's just work. Um, the parents, it's just really, really, it's it's just work. That's all. It's just hard work and really detailed and and um, spending some time here to get these to the point where where they need to look beautiful as as uh, they're starting on a really really great start so far. So uh, arch for the nose again. It's just take a look at some of the examples. How did they depict the nose here? here in this tutorial and in Marilyn as well as the other tutorials in that Welcome to Week 3 announcement. Okay, so again, watch all of those resources. Really take a good close look at the depiction of shadow and highlight and the additional detail needed to bring these illustrations, really bring them to life. All right, uh, Paris, great start. If you have any questions at all, please let me know and I'll be glad to make any needed clarifications. Thank you very much.